All right, tubers, so this is going to be the first little um, repair video for the Yukon. And as I showed you guys when we first got it, the headliner right near the door is starting to come down. We got to go ahead and tack this back up, which should be fine. The first thing we did, we went ahead and pulled back as far as we could um, before it started catching because we want to go ahead and put glue on here so it'll adhere properly. The good news is I think we can make it look pretty good. It's going to get right up to the edge there, and I think it's still going to look pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to use a piece of cardboard to kind of straighten it out and then just kind of tack it back up. But uh, you can see some of the glue is actually still holding. I question as to why it was even doing this in the first place. I'm thinking from the factory they probably just didn't seal it properly. <laughs> Um, but you know, it is what it is. It happens. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this started and I'll try to film as much of it as I can. All right. So these are the tools we're going to use a few little pieces of cardboard here. And then again, this is what we're going to use to kind of brace the, uh, the headliner against and hopefully kind of get as straight as possible. What are we going to use the uh, scissors for? Oh, maybe to cut this a little bit shorter for the size that we need. Um, but once again, I think we can make this look pretty good. Dad's kind of the expert when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't know about expert. I've done it before. He's done it many, we're, many we're times. We're going to put the glue on there, and we stick my little handy ruler here like that, and then plop it up so it goes up straight the best we can. That's it. Yeah, it's receded. It's shrunk a little bit, but I think we can make it look decently good. Let's face it, I'm not going to be spending money to put a new headliner in this thing. I think we're better off doing it by hand than with. Yeah, I did it by hand yesterday, and I actually got it tacked up pretty good. So I'm going to work on that, yeah. and I'll show you guys what it looks like pre-glue, and then what it looks like post-glued. So, talk to you guys in a few minutes. All right, so this is what it looks like from the inside, and you can see it's falling down here. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to try to brace this as much as possible when he glues it. Cause he's got a spray adhesive that's specifically designed to adhere um, basically the headliners back to the actual cardboard. Cause you can't use like a regular super glue or anything because you see how porous these headliners and how thin they are. It would just go right through the headliner leak and you really wouldn't get good adhesion. So I'm gonna show you guys the kind of glue that we're actually gonna use here. Here, show them what you got there for the glue the best is what it's made for it's called 3m yellow super trim adhesive and it says here you can use it to ex with exceptional bond strength heat and moisture resistant bonds heavyweight automotive material so this is designed for this type of application yeah. so we're going to do going to go ahead and spray the cardboard or the no, no, the, the no, roof no. itself you know, hold, we won't be able to do it on the on the phone on the uh camera because we got to use all our hands to do this yeah but i'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done but basically you're just going to spray Once it the glues are fine, we can show you again. yeah all right tubers let me pause this and we'll be back in a couple of all minutes. right everybody so we just sprayed the cardboard here now i'm going to go ahead and slowly put the headliner back into place and i'll show you what it looks like when we're done all right tubers and that's all she wrote it's all tacked up um it's not a perfect job but from the inside you can't really tell that there was much of repair done. It's a little bit more obvious on this side over here, but again, nothing, nothing that is super noticeable. But if you're trying to do a headliner repair on the cheap, then this is the way to do it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this quick repair video. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.